Once you start experimenting with synthesis and sampling, things happen that, that you might not have imagined just by manip manipulating the sounds and, and exploring and getting inside of them. I'm Amy Knowles, and uh, I run the electronic percussion department here at the California Institute of the Arts. With my classes here at CalArts, I get us away as much as I can from any type of sequencing. I want people to play the electronics, not just occasionally use them. I want, I want it to be their instrument and their voice. My teaching philosophy essentially with electronics is you can do whatever you want, but make it real. They don't have to be a sound you've heard before, but they need to have the same characteristics as an acoustic instrument. One of the great things about the mandala drum is the fact that you, you have all of those concentric rings and you're able to recreate that acoustic phenomenon with whatever sound you would put into it. It's a pretty open-ended tool. It's so easy to walk up to something electronic and you know, there you end, you like it? <laughs> you know, uh, I want you to play all of that. I want my students to create their own instruments, really, with electronics.